Hi guys, it's AG Zoe Eve, and I'm back with um, what I think is my G24 and um, part one of her restoration video. So she's here. I her, she actually does not smell at all, which um, and her body seems to be in really good condition. Um, so I don't think she was restuffed. I just think she's been well loved, and so. I'm still gonna put her in a box with baking soda like I usually do, just for general like musty and you know, I like my dolls to smell really fresh. I usually throw a bounce sheet in there with them. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I have a, oops, sorry. <laughs> I have a magic eraser and I'm gonna start just cleaning her limbs. And I'm gonna get a towel to cover her face and actually I should probably get all the tools I need, so hang on a sec. Okay, so I have her here in my sink, and I'm just going to, I'm sorry if the camera's a little, trying to kind of get in the frame so you guys see what I'm doing. I have one of the AG hair ties, um, and I'm just gonna tie her hair back and away from her face so that I can at least um, kind of work with just the limbs and not worry about getting the hair wet. Now I am gonna, I am gonna, they just made a messy bun right there, but just to get it out of her face, you guys can see kind of how she looks. And then what I'm gonna do is I have here a towel and um, some Q-tips and some cotton, flat cotton rounds which I'm just gonna use to cover her eyes. I just typically will tape these just to prevent rusting. Now I'm gonna tackle her eyes last, because I think that's what's gonna need the most work and attention, but I'm just gonna right now do magic eraser on her legs, and um, I'll show you once I've taped her eyes up, just kind of where that's at. Okay, so here she is. You guys can see that I just used a little piece of tape, and um, I folded the cotton rounds in half, and I just covered her eyes and put her face this way. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lean half of her body over the sink. Here's the magic eraser that I'm gonna use. Now, caution, word to the wise, I know I have another TLC video where I did the same thing to the dolls, but you guys really enjoyed it, so I you know, wanted to do that again. And so I typically just drape a towel over my doll's body, you can, go ahead and try and put a plastic bag over and keep the body as dry as possible. I try to make sure that this doesn't get wet. Now, I will say, disclaimer, sometimes when you're working with water, a sprinkle or a splatter will happen and the doll might get a dot or two or a little bit around the edge. I try and dry it right away with paper towel, but it's okay. I never had a problem if just a dot here and there it gets wet, it's never been an issue for me. As I make sure I dry right away, you cannot submerge this in water and then expect it to be okay. That is not what I'm saying. So I use warm water and I just kind of cover up the body and the top of her head and then I work limb by limb. So I'll start on the right leg or the left leg and do the bottom of the body first, dry that off, then do the arms and then work on the head. The head's a little trickier. You cannot scrub magic eraser on the face because you'll remove the face paint. So you have to be really careful. I have done where there's been a spot and I've been able to just, you know, do that little area and it's been okay like it's on the ear or something, but I don't recommend it. You know, again, I've only ever done restorations on dolls that I've gotten second hand. I would never do this on a white body doll or a doll that I paid full price for. Based on the condition of her hair, I'm probably not gonna do a downy dunk. I'm gonna try and just wash her hair and see if that works and uh, comb it out and then see, you know, that'll be part two will be her hair. But part one, I just wanna get her body kind of, there are a couple marks you can see here. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera because they're not really significant, but just a couple of marks here on the bottom of her foot. They look like little markers and things which I think should come out easily. Fingers crossed. Okay, so let's get started. Get the water in. Sometimes I wish my camera could talk to me and tell me, hey, you're out of frame. So I didn't have to keep going back and looking. I just, sorry. Going again. I don't even have to leave the water running. I just kinda wanted it, look, 
some of the spots are already just like wiping off completely. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So you can see it's already dirty. Ew. <laughs> but the spots are coming right off. And you just, you know, I go all the way up. I'm more careful around the joints because I'm closer to the fabric, so I try and be careful in that area. Sorry, I'm like blocking what you can see. Let me see if I can zoom out again. And actually see what I'm doing. So yeah, so that's one leg down. There's a little red spot there. I don't know if you could see that. It looks like it's lightening up. And it looks like it's almost coming off completely. If it doesn't, then I would do an oxy treatment, but it looks like I won't need to because this is coming pretty off pretty quickly. Yep, it's off. So her legs already look great. All the marks have come off completely. Now I'm gonna move on to the arms. And so again, I just wrap her in her towel and I'll dry off the legs. And then I just rotate her around and look, this, this is real life example. See, the tape came off. So, because I didn't do a great job taping it in the first place. So, try that again and retape it. But I mean, again, I'm being careful as I'm working through. If I didn't, couldn't tape her up completely, it would still be fine. I mean, another option is you can try and dress her in like a bathing suit so the body stays a little drier. I'm just gonna, sorry on the water again and work on the arms so arms are a little harder because they're shorter and you gotta work through the fingers so yeah I hope you guys can see what I'm doing and they're crazy loose it's like I'm rotating them completely around in circles and they seem, seems okay but everything is coming out really nice so that's good that's really promising Take a paper towel because it's easier and just dry the arm so you guys can see. Her arm looks pretty good. I'm going to do this again just to make sure I haven't missed anything because I'm focusing more on the camera than I am on her. So I just wrapped her up again. You see the marks right there? They're way lighter now, but they're right here. So usually I'll just use the pointed side, just flip the sponge around to the other scrubby side, in here. Sometimes I'll dry it off and try again with the clean end of the sponge, start coming off right away. And if I try it two or three times and it doesn't come off, then I'll try an oxy treatment, which would just be leaving her out in the sun and. I live in a warm climate, so um, 